In celebration of the 70th anniversary of the Constitutional Court, the Judicial Yen hosts today's international conference on Constitutional Court and the protection of human rights. This is a special day in the history of democratic and constitutional development. I am very honored to be part of this event. The Digital Yen also invites many internationally renowned constitutional scholars and experts to participate in this international conference. I would like to extend the warmest welcome to you all. Thank you for coming. The court has devoted itself to the protection of people's constitutional rights and to the maintenance of the democratic constitutional order during and after Taiwan's democratic transition. At every critical moment of our history, when the constitutional order was faced with challenges, the constitutional court, as the guardian of the constitution, has stood up in due time to protect the constitution, to stabilize the constitutional order of the nation, and to lead the development of constitutional democracy of our country. As part of our effort to reform Taiwan's judicial system, the Constitutional Court has further identified a problem with the protection of constitutional rights of the people under the current system. So far, the Constitutional Court would only review the constitutionality of laws and regulations and not that of court decisions. Against this backdrop, the judicial yen, as has proposed to introduce the idea of constitutional complaints, modeled after the system established by the Federal Constitutional Court of Germany, in order to allow the people to challenge the constitutionality of the court decisions here. The Constitutional Court has introduced a legislative bill to amend the current Constitutional Interpretation Procedures Act. Once passed, this new act will empower the Constitutional Court to review the constitutionality of the final decisions of the courts of last resort on top of the laws and regulations. The organization of the Constitutional Court will also be reinforced to support this reform. It will be a watershed development of the Constitutional Court. Moving through each critical constitutional moment, the Constitutional Court has functioned to safeguard the national security and the social order, to consolidate the foundation for democratic constitutional order, and to fulfill the promise to protect the constitutional rights. It is my sincere hope that after our judicial reform, the justices of the Constitutional Court will continue to guide the stable development of our democratic constitutional order and to protect the constitutional rights of our people in a more effective and comprehensive manner. Finally, I wish this two-day international conference a great success. Thank you, everyone.